Okay, welcome. Uh, my name is Colonel Denny Peoples. I'm the uh, Senior Aerospace Science Instructor at Prescott uh, Air Force Junior ROTC AZ 2063. I want to welcome those of you who have uh, chosen to uh, take the Junior ROTC courses here at Prescott High School. I want to go through some basic uh, Prescott JROTC tenets that we firmly believe in and uh, hold your, yourself accountable to these philosophies that we have. A tenet is uh, defined as a principle or belief in your religion or your philosophy that you live your life by. Uh, we are dictated some of these uh, by the Air Force, which is our uh, sponsor. Uh, the Air Force core values that I firmly believe in is integrity first, service before self, and excellence in all you do. By the way, these are all Three of these uh, tenets are included in our cadet handbook, which is available on our website, prescottjrotzi.com, and the uh, handbook is in the bottom left-hand corner. Integrity first. What does that mean? Uh, to me, it means uh, integrity means doing the right thing uh, when no one's watching. Uh, it means knowing right from wrong, which I assume everybody here does. You generally do by what age three, four, uh, but it takes a lot of inner fortitude to do the right thing when no one is watching. Don't cheat, don't steal, don't lie when no one's watching. Uh, the other part of integrity that is very important, especially here in uh, the high school environment, to be perfectly honest, is doing the correct thing when everyone is watching, uh, meaning all your peers. Uh, this is the uh, toughest time of your life as far as peer pressure and uh, you will be challenged to, do, uh, to make poor choices by your peers who are making them and would like you to make them <laughs> to validate their poor choices. So I'm looking for my cadets to uh, do the right thing even though everyone else is watching. From uh, as simple as cheating to more complex of issues as drinking or drugs or uh, uh, heck, putting too many people in a car when you know your parents wouldn't like you. Service before self, the second Air Force core value, uh, is firmly uh, established here in our Prescott Junior RTC. I require 10 hours of community service per cadet, per class, per quarter. So in one year, you'll be doing at least 40 hours of documented community service uh, throughout your community. I define community service as doing something for someone else who can never pay you back and making the world a better place. Uh, they, I've been doing this for eight years. Uh, in general, our cadets uh, produce anywhere from 10 to 15,000 documented community service hours in, this, uh, in our area, which now will be all over uh, uh, the, the county of Yavapai. And I do this for a number of reasons. I really think that community service, volunteering, is what America, makes America great. I believe that if you go out and help somebody else who can never pay you back, that you receive uh, an awful lot of satisfaction and, uh, and, and maturing uh, by giving of yourself to something bigger than yourself. Uh, plenty of studies have gone through and basically, bottom line is if you volunteer, you make better grades. It's just a fact. So I won't make my students to make better grades, but 10% of your grades is uh, community service. Uh, excellence. Excellence in all we do. Uh, this is a basic tenet that I firmly believe in. Uh, one of Colonel Peoples' quotes, I'm not sure who I stole it from, but uh, is that being sharp is not a part-time job. Uh, I don't like to be average in anything. Uh, if I'm interested in something, if I have a passion like flying, like engineering, like teaching, like helping students, helping people get in the academy, helping, helping students achieve their goals, I'm going to do it 100% as best I can. Uh, if I want a job, when you guys start applying for jobs, you want to make sure you dress up, you look sharp, you give your 
to get that job. And if you do not get it, then it wasn't meant to be. But if you do not give your 100%, if you don't are excellent in everything you do, uh, then you know what? You probably don't deserve the job because someone else is out uh, outperforming you. So we believe in excellence in all we do. And uh, with those three Air Force core values, integrity first, service for self, excellence in all we do, uh, and combined with the honor code and our second most important statement in our cadet handbook, I am looking for cadets to have peer accountability and peer assessment, which means one of the notches as far as maturing and become a, a full uh, contributing citizen to America is you being responsible not only for yourself, but for the actions of those around you. You need to call into question any cadets you see not having integrity, cheating on tests, lying, stealing, uh, which brings us to the cadet honor code. Uh, I will not lie, cheat, or steal, or tolerate those who do. This is the eighth year of me teaching uh, Junior RTC since we founded it, uh, and I think the number is about a thousand. I've been through a thousand cadets sitting in front of me, and I have seen a lot. Have I seen everything? No, I'm sure. <laughs> My, uh, what, 85 freshmen this year will surprise me again, as they always do, <laughs> and some of my juniors and seniors. But uh, I am here to tell you that once the cadet honor code is broken, not lying, cheating, or stealing, then uh, I expect every cadet to call into question those cadets who are doing that, uh, that are breaking the code. Uh, the way you professionally do it, which you shall be doing it the rest of your life, is if uh, someone lies or cheats, go to them, call them, uh, call their actions uh, into question. Uh, hey Bob, did I see you cheating on the, the math test? Oh no, I wasn't. everybody does it. Well you know what, everybody doesn't do it. And I don't appreciate you cheating. That's all you have to say, just as simple as that. Uh, someone uh, uh, lying, hey Bob, are you exaggerating a little bit or are you lying? Well, you know, you know, we don't do that. Knock it off. Just as simple as that. A one-line statement, I bet you, will make Bob uh, think about those things. I'm looking for cadets willing to stand up and take responsibility for their actions as well as raise the quality and the integrity of those around them to your level. And oh, by the way, not tolerate those who do make poor choices. Um, I can give examples <laughs> on all of these uh, relative to my, uh, my history with a thousand cadets through the last eight years, and you'll hear me in my uh, lectures do that. Um, the second most important uh, statement is really the culmination of maturity in becoming an adult. And oh, by the way, I'm sure once I tell you the second most important statement in that cadet handbook, you will say, yeah, I know a lot of adults that don't do that. The second most important statement in the cadet handbook, which is available on our website, PrescottJRotsky.com, is, I'm sorry, I apologize, I accept responsibility, and I won't do it again. So, when you have been uh, call into accountability by your peers for the honor code, for integrity, for service, for excellence, and you know you're wrong because your peers are telling you that, not me, I will be glad to do it also, then you need to man up as the term is, I don't know if they're a term for girl up, man up and say yes, hey, I'm sorry, I apologize, I accept responsibility, I won't do it again. That is uh, really, uh, the realization of maturity as far as I get it. You're accepting that you make mistakes, you're accepting responsibility for your actions, you're realizing you're not perfect, and, oh by the way, you're going to get better and do it again. If you read our, our handbook, it talks about all of these tenets. Everyone has made mistakes. I will tell a lot of my stories uh, as high school days um, about me making mistakes on every one of these, but 
I must admit, my parents taught me well that, you know what, everybody makes mistakes, but the smart people don't make it twice. If you make the same mistake twice, then you're not learning. You're not mature enough to understand the second most important statement as far as, I won't do it again. And if you keep making the same mistake over and over, if you keep cheating, if you keep lying, it will come back to haunt you. Let's say two stories. I can't get away without saying two stories. One story. I have a Jeep. And, uh, and I have a Jeep that parks out by my ROTC unit. And believe it or not, one day I walk out to the Jeep and there is a big dent in it. And I go, huh. Really bums me out because I have a thousand dollar deductible. It cost me a thousand dollars to fix it, but I kind of felt like it was one of my cadets because they're always after school. I'm there till five o'clock. The next day, I went into my ROTC and talked about these exact points and said, uh, you know, I had someone back into my Jeep uh, and I'm trying to figure out who did it, and uh, I need I need some help. I said this to 150 cadets, five six classes. And one was sitting there going, yeah, you're right, you need to help out the colonel. That person was nodding their head. I didn't think any of it. Weekend went by, nobody came forward, until I offered $50 cash. Because <laughs> I was paying $1,000 for the uh, deductible. And then within eight minutes, <laughs> I had three individuals come through <laughs> and try to claim the $50 to tell me who had actually backed into my car. And it was that one person who was going, yeah, we need to help the colonel. That person actually backed to my car, did not accept responsibility, did not have the integrity to come see me, and consequently reaped what they sowed. Uh, it was a felony. Over $1,000 worth of damage in Arizona is a felony. And uh, they were they were they were prosecuted, and they had some uh, consequences via the school, and uh, they eventually uh, came forward with their family and, and made good on everything. Uh, but again, it took peer accountability. It took fifty dollars. <laughs> they paid me back the fifty dollars too. <laughs> but uh, that was uh, one one bad situation that we had here at Preston High School. Another bad one. Last uh, within the last few years. I also I interview a lot of students for Air Force Academy and the Naval Academy, and I will teach you how to write awesome resumes. Uh, I taught this student how to write resumes, and they came to interview with me for the Air Force Academy. And on one piece of paper, they had four lies. They were not in National Honor Society. They did not have a private pilot license. Uh, those type of things. The GPA was wrong. It was a lie. And I called them out on it. And you know what? Doggone it. They did not read or they did not remember my second most important statement. They did not accept responsibility. They made mistakes. They made excuses. And they had problems with accepting that they were lying to me. By the way, that individual did not get accepted to the, uh, the first colleges of their choice, and I'm really not sure if that individual ever learned uh, what I was trying to teach them, the fact that uh, when you're dealing with me and my classes and my, jun my junior RTC cadets, you're expected to be better than the rest, and uh, the uh, best cadets that succeed in life, contribute to society, accomplish their goals, have stable marriages, have productive futures, live by integrity, service, and excellence, the cadet honor code will not lie, cheating, or stealing, or tolerate those that do. And when they make a mistake, which all of us have, you accept responsibility, you apologize, and you do not do it again. These are the Prescott J. Rotsy tenets that I expect all my cadets to follow. And oh, by the way, you'll be tested. <laughs> and uh, I expect you to help me help your cadets uh, not make these mistakes. Thank you very much.